Hey guys, today's video is going to be how to pose in photos. Because those of us that aren't models, we struggle with this. So I have some tips, some techniques, and some specific poses that you can try out when you're posing people for photos or if you're just posing for your own Instagram photo. Also, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, check out Squarespace. Seriously, they'll hook it up. They have everything in one place, it's super easy. But more about that later, let's get into the video. All right, so the first pose is to hold something. If you add a little prop, it'll make you feel a lot less awkward posing because you have something to hold on to. We're gonna add a little coffee cup. Hold it up to your face too, like hold it up kind of like you're about to take a sip or something. I've seen a lot of people do this with dessert items. So a donut, ice cream, a popsicle, candy. All of these make great little props. If you feel kind of awkward just posing without holding on to something, so for example, we shot some with a donut. You can hold it in front of your face or in front of one eye. Just kind of experiment with it. Plus, then you have a donut to eat. Win-win. I mean, really the greatest photo idea ever, am I right? The next one is the fake or real laugh. So it feels kind of awkward, but most of the time you'll fake laugh and then it'll turn into like, you're actually laughing because you're laughing at how ridiculous it is and it always looks good in a photo. So in this example, I told Diana to pose as if she was laughing instead of actually laughing. And you can see in the photos, it looks pretty fake. It's kind of awkward looking because she's not actually moving, she's just posing. But when you actually fake laugh, it turns into a real laugh and then you're able to capture your subject actually looking happy and not like they're posing to look happy. When it's too posed and the person isn't really moving, it just feels kind of forced. So try this out, even if it feels a little bit uncomfortable, you will get great photos out of it. All right, this next pose is just like a really easy pose you can do. You just put your hands in your pockets and then look up to one side. So I like doing this if you have a nice like blank wall or a brick wall or something like that. Just put your hands like even more in the pockets. Yeah, like that and then yeah, just like look up. This is great if you just want a casual, understated pose or if you really like your outfit and want to show that off. I really like this in front of a nice brick wall or cool colored wall. Okay, so the next pose is actually not a pose at all. I've talked about this a little bit before, but if you don't pose, but rather you walk and you kind of pose as you walk, look up, look to the side, and you have your camera on a really high shutter speed, you'll get really natural looking candid shots. What we're trying to avoid here is looking too posed, which can end up looking something like this. And posing as if you're walking will always look weird, as I've talked about in videos before. So if you pose as you walk, it'll look way more natural and candid. These shots are great for fashion bloggers or just shooting something for a clothing company. So if you ever need to shoot that kind of thing, definitely try this out. So one issue you might run into if you don't have your camera on the correct settings and your shutter speed is too low, then the pictures are gonna be kind of blurry. Watch what happens if we shoot this at like 25. So you can see like the foot is really blurry, the arms are blurry, which can be a cool look, but obviously here it just does not match at all. It just looks like you didn't really know what you're doing. For these shots, I like to set my shutter speed at 1 250th of a second. That way you won't get any motion blur and your shot will look crisp like this one. Okay, so here's the next pose. It's a sitting one. And this is just a good way to place your arms and legs so they don't look awkward because sitting ones can be pretty unflattering if you're not careful. So what you do is kind of do a like crisscross with your legs or if you're wearing a skirt, you can kind of just like put one leg over the other. And then you put one arm over the side and just kind of look to the side and it looks like kind of casual and candid. So this is how they end up looking. They're just more kind of casual, candid, great for fashion bloggers or just Instagram photos. Okay, so this next one is another Another sitting pose but it's a little bit different you kind of turn and face the other way and then casually put a hand down and kind of look back so it's a little more interesting than if you're just like sitting down on a sidewalk let's see can you turn your body more that way and then have just your head a little bit more the key to this one yeah, is just and keeping like it kind of natural too. letting your arm fall yeah. onto the sidewalk this relaxes pose is especially good bit. if you have a shirt that has a really cool back but you can definitely do it with just a regular shirt as well all right, so another super easy one, just very casual anyone could do, is just a handstand. And it's even better if you can find something high up or sort of dangerous to do it on. That was, 
best things that I've ever done in my life. Okay, so obviously I'm kidding. I'm seeing stars now. Uh, be right back, I'm gonna faint. That's like not a super easy pose to do, but if you can do it, you should totally do it. You just kind of do a handstand, split your legs, and then bend them a little bit to do like a double stag. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a yoga pose. I see a lot of yoga accounts do it too. Give it a try if you can do it. So the next photo pose, we're in the car. Um, this is one I've actually seen on Instagram a ton. It's just like a person in the car casually kind of chilling, but I think it's a fun look. This pose is super easy. You already have a car as your prop. So it looks best if you have a cup of coffee in your hand and one leg up on the seat. It's kind of a glamorous look, so I would throw on some sunglasses for this one too. So those are some poses that you guys can try out. If you try them, tag me on Instagram and comment below which one was your favorite. Mine is probably the car one. I don't know, I just, I really like that car pose. Also, if you guys wanna see the finished photos in this video, I set up a little website using Squarespace. Check it out down below. It's just a little photography gallery website. So there you can see all the photos and how they turned out. And you guys, like I said, Squarespace is the go-to if you need to set up a website. Whether you're starting a business or an online store or you just need a professional looking photography gallery, Squarespace has beautiful looking templates that just look really professional and they're really easy to use. You don't have to code, you don't have to do any of that, so you can just focus on your photography. So I know a lot of you guys do photography, and if you haven't set up a website, I would definitely consider doing that if you're trying to get clients. And I highly recommend using Squarespace for this because you can set up the domain and the website at the same time, just all in one place, so it's really, really easy. Go take a look at the website that I set up if you want to see an example of one. It's also good beyond photography websites, so if you're setting up an online store, you can manage your products, your inventory, and all your orders like easily just on Squarespace. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial to set up your website. And when you're ready to purchase a domain or website, go to squarespace.com Shelby to get 10% off. Who doesn't want 10% off? I mean, definitely do that. <laughs> so that is it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.